Hello, Patrick Walchuk here with an update on the Ottawa investment market to the end of July 2022. And if you enjoy getting these videos, click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll send them out to you at the beginning of every month. So as we always do, starting with the buildings that have sold uh, year to date, by the way, and that's for the two to four unit buildings, there's only been 83 sell, which um, surprises me, but that's a decline of about uh, 19%. Now the number of residential and condo properties in Ottawa is also down, so the number of investment properties is following suit, but again this surprises me a little for some reason. Now the average price is basically flat with last year. Uh, we're up almost a percentage point, no great change there, and it's taking a little bit longer for these uh, properties to sell in 44 days. So moving on to the next one which are uh, buildings that have five or more units in them. Um, we've had 13 of these buildings sell this year compared to 10 last year and we will usually have 22 to 26 sell in a year so we're kind of on track for that. Uh, the average price I'm not reading too much into it. We've had a couple of higher end sales that happened this year, including a building that, that we sold, uh, uh, just firmed up in July actually, uh, close to $6 million. Uh, so that's um, kind of artificially bumping up the average price and it's taking longer to sell. And that's like compared to last year, but even our uh, uh, 12 unit building that was just under 6 million that, that sold, that was conditionally sold for over four months. So anyhow, the days on market for some of these things just get stretched out because of the complexity of the, the type of sale that they are. Anyhow, if you have any questions, give me a call, Patrick Walchuk.